Hey, it is Johnny Struggles here, and we got the last starship. We are playing Alpha 1D, the early access version. And today I'm going to talk about weapons, ammo, and armor. And some combat to go with that. So just to start off real quick, there's three guns in the game right now. You got the Gatling gun. I don't know why these guys are quivering here. So excited to be here. You got Gatling guns, cannons, and rail guns. So railguns are slow-firing, long-range weapons. They're the longest-range weapon you got. They also use a lot of power. You have cannons, who are a mid-range weapon. They do a lot of damage and fire fast. And the Gatling guns are a short-range defensive gun. They'll shoot enemy fighters and enemy ships if they get close enough. But they don't do much damage, but they will... If you have a lot of them, they will do... Their damage will add up, and they can take out small, light targets and pepper up uh, larger targets, soften them up where you're the bigger guns that do damage, more damage. Uh, one thing is armor. Armor plating basically gives your ship defense. You know, to edit armor. This ship has no armor on it. But uh, if you go to box tool and click and drag. It add, Armor adds defensive power to your ship and weight. So it just increased our mass, so it makes us slower. But now if a railgun rounds, Say a railgun round hits this point that's ar armored, it removes the armor plating and I don't take any damage. So I've seen people comment that, you know, railguns suck. It's probably because they're fighting armored targets um, and they're not doing any damage because they hit the armor. The railguns are accurate weapons, they only hit well, one square. So that I've seen. So if that square is armored, then that round is not going to do any damage. And if you have larger targets, the railgun round is probably going to hit different areas and not miss, necessarily do any real damage until its armor has been removed. One thing you can do with the railguns is you can target enemy guns and equipment like the engine stuff. You can target enemy engines on their ship to help slow them down or the thrusters or anything on the hull. And they're accurate to hit them and take them out or damage them. So that's one good thing. And you can do that with the cannons as well. Uh, you can't target the railguns or the gatling guns. Go to tactical, expand weapons. Reloading. Oh, there's a problem there. So the four railguns, you can see here if I zoom out. Railguns have a long range of fire here. They're slow firing. They have 10 rounds per clip. Cannons are shorter range. They're fast firing and 5 rounds per clip. They will fire those 5 rounds pretty quickly. And you need crew to reload them. And the PDCs here are the Gatling guns. You can see their firing arc. Now you can't control them. They just auto fire at any target. We will turn our ship around. We'll point at the star base here. And we'll fire around it. Eh, the bad thing about firing around at it is these fighters are going to attack us. Let's stop moving forward. Okay. So we fire around. If I click on the any weapon and then you go over this, you can just target a spot on it. Slow the game back down. Um, so I can target this armored area. He's going to shoot it. It's going to plink off the armor not doing any damage. It didn't even plink off the armor, did it? Yeah, it did. One square. Let's stop the auto. Put it back on auto. There, right click on it to cancel. So from there, a lot of times the fighters will come after you once you do some damage to them as well. But we can see there's no damage, show damage here if you did anything. But it removed that little square of armor. Oh, the fighters are launching out after us for shooting at them. And our guns should go automatically after them. Yep. But we're not in combat with the starbase yet, just the fighter logic. You shoot them, they come after you. But he won't turn red as an enemy or hostile until you actually do damage to him. So I kept shooting at him. It would it would do damage. So let's go to the port cannons here. Let's just select here as our target. So when they come in range, they'll start firing. I'll throttle up. Oh, they gonna, there they go. And they do much larger area of damage. And they took 5 damage to that. It's mostly armored there though, but it removed a lot of armor. You'll see... Slow down, or speed up a little bit. You'll see... Some armor removed. The red spots are damaged parts of the hull. And there's that. And I'm getting the same thing. I'm getting peppered. Oh, I'm, not, I'm getting more than peppered. 
But the unarmored areas instantly they just take damage. So you won't have any armor, you just instantly it's damage. If you have armor, the armor takes a hit and you don't take damage from that. So it's smart to have armor in certain sections of your ship. But you gotta be careful with it, because the more armor you have, the heavier your ship is and the slower it is. Normal speed. And the faster your ship is, the higher your evasion is. So evasion is new. Helps you avoid getting hit. So if you turn, it increases your evasion. Your speed, your velocity, the higher their velocity, the higher evasion. Right now, it currently matches whatever your speed is. And when you turn it, it increases it. Let's put these back on auto. Heavy damage. For a tiny ship, yeah, this is not a smart move going after the star base with this tiny ship. But you can see several rounds going past us because of our evasion. Just like that. We're getting close. Well, we're about toast. 98% damage. And we're gone. But the evasion did help us at the end avoid some of the hits. Alright, let's see what the railgun can do to an unarmored ship. As an example. Weapons, forward railgun. We'll just select one of them. And hit this trade ship here. Before, see if we can hit him before he jumps. Went this way. So railgun rounds against armored targets, of course, don't do much damage because they're armored. You plank off the armor. But let's see what we do for an unarmored target. That's 49 damage right there. So this ship became a hostile target immediately, or hostile towards us, you know, illegal activity. And now the railguns are the only thing shooting at it. It was doing about 48, 50 damage per shot. The thing is, it hits a single point. And we're a long ways away. And this adds up. If you're a combat ship trying to get in close to these railguns, you got to eat these rounds on the way in. Unless you evade them. So, railguns rail guns definitely serve their purpose. And the other thing is, they're like sniper rifles. This guy's probably going to try to jump out of here. Um, I can take my railguns here. And I target that one. I can target different systems on the ship. I can't hit them. Anything critical because they just have engines. But if I could see it, now he's turning to jump. He'll aim this way. But they won't uh, hit the engine because it's blocked. Yeah, that was cool. He jumped away before that last round shot him. But if you have several railguns, I just have two on this ship. It's more of... It's not real major. This is a small ship. If you have larger ships... Or even on the broadside, if I put several railguns on here and turn sideways, I probably could have taken that ship out before he jumped away. He did have a lot of health, though, 2,000. So no other soft targets here. Let's uh, reload, and I'll show you what cannon rounds will do against a soft target. Soft target being an unarmored target, I mean. Unarmored target. Okay, where's the evacuation ship? Let's just pull right up beside him if we can. Weapons... We'll just pick one. So as soon as this guy becomes hostile towards us, when we shoot him, he'll... Well, I shouldn't say he becomes hostile towards us. As soon as we become hostile towards him, he turns red and all our guns are fire at him. Let's slow it down. We're well within range. I don't want to get too close because I don't want the Gatling guns to start saying hello. Yeah, this might be just far enough out. Let's turn right here, actually. Okay, so this can's going to come in range, fire around, by fire quick rounds, we'll live slow motion so we can see the damage done. There's the round. So the railguns did 40, 48 or 9 damage the first shot. Ooh, is he going to miss? Oh, he missed. He's not even moving, it must be my movement caused that miss, maybe? No idea. Okay, next round, going off. That's coming on track. Slightly off, and... Missed. What is it? It's going towards the middle more. Okay, another round. And I was gonna say the gunner needs fire. That did 45 damage, so a few damage less than the railgun. The main difference is the cannon fired like three rounds in the time it takes the railgun to fire once. Oh the gallery is firing too. And yeah, 55 damage. A little bit more there's the Gatling guns are doing damage, peppering the target. 
I don't know what the Gatling does. Gatling gun does like one damage per hit. Yeah, it looks about one damage per hit. Because the cannons fire so fast. It's good normal speed. Let's pull up here closer. So you can see the number jump up quick is because the Gatling guns are, you know, added up. They do a lot of damage to unarmored targets quickly. And the spot that's already damaged sends to get hurt more, I don't know. But we are destroying this target. And he's done. Illegal activity. Hey, increase your combat rating though. Criminal rating increased. We're criminals. But as you can see, the railgun does about the same amount of damage as the cannon. The main difference is the railgun is slower firing, long range, accurate. The cannon is short range, fast firing, and less accurate, shall we say. But if you're close in like this, you definitely want a lot of cannons. That's a good strategy to have. Because um, they, as you can see uh, as well, with just two cannons, eh, Gatling guns helping as well. We took this ship out fairly quickly, where the other one, we just had two railguns firing slowly. Couldn't do it. Not in the same time, just because they fire slower. Um, so that gives you some examples of how this works. And how to strategize how to your weapon placement. A lot of strategy the AI uses is it will, as it comes from a distance, it'll aim its rail forward rail guns at you, shoot at you when it gets close, it'll turn sideways and try to take you out with the cannons on a broadside. Um, some of the AI doesn't do that, sometimes the AI is a little flaky, but you know, we're still off of one. Things will only improve. So, I have a small ship, I have a fast ship. If we're fighting a bigger slow opponent, I can outmaneuver him. A tactical, but a half throttle. And we'll bring in the hostile armored beast. So our ship is unarmored completely, so we are very vulnerable. If we go to um, editor, we have 1500 toughness. It's not bad for the size ship. It's pretty good, actually. Small ship. Import hostile. Armored beast. Let's see what this guy is on the map. He's back behind us. Let's ramp it up. So, ideally, we want our evasion to be high so we can try to avoid taking damage from this guy. Oh, we, he took some damage from that round. We hit an unarmored spot. And we ate all those rounds there. I'm just going to do a little S curves here to help with my evasion. Didn't matter. Oh. Starbase is helping. This also throws off my railguns from being accurate. So we're just going to fly right through him. He's going to try to turn, and we just, boop, we're behind him. Let's slow it down. Expand weapons out. Take our starboard cannons. Let's target his mid-engine here. Let's put it back to normal speed. Come on, cannons. Slow down. Oh, did they do anything to him? I don't know. Let's slow back down. Let's take the uh, cannons on the other side to do the same thing. I'd rather them take out the engines here. Back to normal speed. Turn. We can take out an engine that'll slow him down from being able to shoot at us or turn into us. Yeah, actually, right here is pretty good. Although I'm taking a lot of damage, we don't need to be eating those cannon rounds. Looks like their engine is down. It's not shooting out exhaust anymore. I'm getting closer here, get behind them. Yeah, slow down. We need to turn around. These cannons are out of ammo. They need to be reloaded. Target there. Take the other two. And target this other engine. Okay, let's try to get... I uh, let them go too far out. I have to turn again for these cannons shoot at us. 51, 58% evasion. 
Come on, getting close. I'm gonna die 99% damage. Ah! So close, but that engine got taken out. This one was damaged. He's just able to turn. He's still got a lot of thrusters on him. But her hurt him pretty bad. It's a big shift for just this little guy to take out. It is tough. But that's the strategy. Turn, turn. If I had armor, some armor on the outside, it probably would have made a difference. Let's try that. Um, and we will put armor on this time. Armor. And I'm not going to do anything specific. I'm just going to put a strip of armor on either side. Like this, and we'll see how much the evasion goes down. Confirm. So, okay. Tactical, let's go ahead and push the throttle up so we're moving a little bit. And the guy comes in, Casey's on top of us. Import, Mr. Armored Beast. Yeah, and he's right there in front of us. Let's get the action going. I mean, it looks like we got a racing stripe down our ship. Should have armored the front of it just for the railgun rounds. And I could right now target his railguns with mine. I mean, slow down. Get the forward railguns. I can say, shoot him. And then starboard cannon. We'll just go ahead and pick an engine. And then port cannon. We'll pick this one here. So that hopefully we can take one of them out when we swing around them. Okay, back to normal speed. So, I mean, we've taken 147 damage from getting hit so far. So the railgun rounds are no joke. It does this one little square of hit, but it still does a lot of damage. You know, that's no joke. So railgun rounds are not necessarily weak. Just armored targets are a bit harder to utilize. Alright, hard turn. Swing about. Those cannons do their job. Oh, one hit. It went too far this way. Oh, we're exposed now. Man, this evasion's not helping us. 50%. That is a lot more than 50%. <laughs> so much for that. Er, power slide. Gatling guns doing their thing. I don't want to sit in front of their cannons the whole time like this. Gotta get in. I... I yeah, bad maneuver. Bad maneuver did the exact same thing. Now we're exposed again. The cannon rounds on this side again. But the rounds that hit our armor didn't really hurt us. And the ones that hit right dead center in the unarmored area really hurt us. Okay, let's do this again. Let's do this a little better this time. Yeah, that did not work at all. Trying to tuck him behind him, he's just turning too fast. Turn into him. One thing is, you can use the hockey for your thrusters and turn them on to help you maneuver as well if you wanted to. Give your evasion up a little bit. We got one of his engines are out now. Ooh, getting dizzy. Not doing too bad this guy this time. And then those cannons keep shooting that one engine because it's unarmored now, so it's gonna do more should do more damage. We're out turning him now, just stay right here. Just sit behind him. Let the guns do their thing. You can see on my ship, the armored sections have a bunch of black squares and some red squares. So they took a lot of damage. Normally they would be, would be a lot more hurting. Let's slow, slow it down. Oh shoot. The game didn't slow down. Let's target that middle, middle one there. That's unfortunate. I thought I hit the slow down button. It didn't go in. I want to reload those cannons. And are we running out of ammo? I'm not reloading those PDCs on that side. Come on, move up there quick, quick. And you see those ones that hit us took, we only took a couple percent damage. Nothing real bad. Alright, cannons are reloaded. 
Take out that engine. Come on, get in the arc. Get that engine, man. If we get that engine now, that'll help a lot. I'm getting too far away. Uh, okay. Maybe that will help us. Maybe not. Get in there. We're almost dead. This is close. Turn and burn behind him out of his weapons fire. We need to turn the other way because the PDCs on this side are out of ammo. Come on, cannons. Get in there. There we go. Oh, that was a good hit. I see the engine, the color of the engine went down a bit, so it took some damage. Yeah. There we go, this is what I wanted to do, getting close like that. He turns, I'm going to turn the other way. He didn't turn. That starbase is going to hurt him too. There's a couple more rounds. Yes! With assist from the starbase. But we did much better. It took a lot longer, jeez. But we absorbed a lot more damage. Because of all the armor plating that took a hit versus us taking that hit. We would definitely be dead. Oh, the floor plating is all messed up. The floor tiles don't fit anymore. They got all dents in the ship. Um, so one thing to mention, in that combat, our oxygen maker, which still has placeholder art, took damage. You can kind of see here in red, it says damage 2 out of 40. Um, you know, no one's fixing that. The only time I've seen crew fix things is when it's, you know, 100% damaged. Um, like the gun, you know, the gun gets destroyed, thruster gets destroyed, they'll come and fix it. Engine get taken out, same thing. So, this will just keep saying damaged. There's no way I know to repair this other than uninstalling it and reinstalling it. Then it comes back with full health. But right now, like, no one's going to fix this until this gets destroyed, I believe. Currently in the game. 92% damage. So you can repair your ship in two ways. If you have drones, you can go to orders and do repair hull. We don't have any drones, so nothing's getting launched to repair the hull. The other is you need to go to a place with a shipyard. I think this one does. The shipyard. Repair all damage. You get 90,000. There's no confirmation of that. Just you pay it and that's it. So they repair the hull. The one thing they don't do is the armor. You need to repurchase the armor. So they put your hull back in order. And then you have to buy the armor again if you need if you want armor. In this case, we get the editor in creative mode. We just rearmor it. We took a lot of damage. We're almost dead. Uh, so we go tactical. So you see all the black spots here. You know, black is unarmored. X is armored. So this side of the ship took a lot of hits, and we exposed their cannons a lot. So it definitely helped us out in combat. If I was able to turn around to the other Get the other side of the ship towards them, which has more armor, we would have, you know, taken less damage. Because once you lose the armor, then you take more damage. So if you're in combat and you have one side exposed for a while, keep an eye on this. If it starts getting light like this, try turning the other side of your ship if it's armored to then start, you know, taking less damage for a little bit of time. It could get you to survive just that much longer to win the fight. There's one strategy I use a lot. Flip the ship around, let the first side fight. And it's also good if you're Guns on one side of our add ammo and reloading, they're not firing anyway, so that's a good time to try to maneuver around to get your other guns and align with the target to fire and other fresh sections of the ship to get hit instead. So things like that are a good idea to take note of. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, click that like button. Subscribe if you haven't, I'd really appreciate that. And have a good one, everyone. See you later. Bye.